11.8 round silicone mold filled with eco resin. This resin is more like a plaster resin, so it is going to get hard, almost as if you were making a ceramic dish. In the middle, we have a resin centerpiece. After it dried, I chose to add a couple of different stones around the edges. In this process, you can decorate however you so well please. I also added gold glitter around the piece and let it dry. Right now, I'm just waiting for the piece to set up so that I can move on to the next part, which is adding some wording. Here, you can see I started off by adding what looks like a sticker. But this is actually a rub on decal. So what I'm going to do is add multiple rub on decals onto my solidified resin to add more designs to this particular art piece. With this particular technique, you actually have to take your time and really make sure that each portion of this decal is varnished down to your surface. Because if you do not, when you go to release it, some of the pieces will be stuck to the actual tape and you will lose that piece. I went ahead and sped up this part because if not, the process can seem rather tedious and long. And as you can see, I go over every letter a few times to make sure that it's properly varnished down. Once it's properly varnished down, you can see it's easy and ready to release once it turns kind of a whitish color. Then you can just easily pull it away. If any pieces come up, you just rub them down. On this project, I added tons of rub-on decals because I love the depth it gives this project. Plus, I had some decals that I just had hanging around that I've had hanging around for years. So I used them because at this point, this was what the inspiration was giving me. And I went with it. So this is actually the first product of my new year of 2023. And this is actually my altar board. So I wanted to be very representative of what we were going for from this point forward. Not just as a New Year's resolution, but as a life resolution. From this point on, we're resolving ourselves and our lives to be more ambitious, to imagine the possibilities, not the negativity. We want to travel more. And this board, this altar basically envisions what direction we want to go for and where we're pushing to be. But not only in our lives, but in our business as well. Because people don't understand how much dedication it takes to do art and to be an artist, let alone to be like myself and those that work with me at this company that have disabilities. It's very hard to sometimes sit down and focus and give 100%. And yet, we've dedicated our lives to our art, to our passions, and we refuse to let our disabilities and our inabilities stop us from continuing to move forward on this journey that we are hoping to solidify and grow. Our company is made up of a bunch of amazing women who come from many different walks of life, all joined together in a journey of living with disabilities and living with other type of abilities that people don't understand. But we can convey who we are, what we love, through our art and through our passion. And this is really why we come 
together and create things like this. Even though it looks like it's just simply me doing this project, really and truly, this is a group effort. We're sitting together on the phone, we're video calling, we're chatting, and we're just pretty much every single time we do anything new or we create any new product, we are literally always on one accord with the creation of the project with the creation of the directions that we want to go in this business as you can see it takes some time for this rub on decal process so it gave me plenty of time to talk to you and tell you about our business and who we are and from here I went on to another process that is similar but quicker. So as you can see, now it seems like I just have paper on here. But really, these are tattoos. These are the tattoos that you put water on and just pretty much rub the backing off. And it puts a pretty image onto your skin. But people don't realize that those tattoos can be used for a different variety of things. Like they can be used on resin, they can be added to glass. Um, there are so many things that you can do with those tattoos that people really don't think of. Yes, sometimes they are just simple body art that you put on to look good and to, you know, feel good for just a moment. But some of these tattoos are so beautiful that you want to keep them and you want to like remember what they look like. And when you use them with resin, you can kind of immortalize that particular tattoo. And that's exactly what I was going for here. I wanted to commemorate all of these inspirational um, semi-permanent tattoos that I have. Because I don't necessarily put them on me. I prefer actual tattoos. But I feel like they very much went with this positivity altar that it very much did uh, convey what I wanted it to say to the world, to me, to anybody that looked at this particular piece that I was creating. With this piece, just by reading all of the, you know, decals and the tattoos that I put on here, you can see that I'm observing my life and what I want it to be. I always want to rise above and just be myself, be resilient and brave, and remember to keep my family first and never give up. So all of that is conveyed right here on this positivity altar, on my prosperity altar, and words don't even have to be said by me. It's just the intentions that I'm putting out there into the world. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using this piece pretty much as my altar. Because I feel like when you're manifesting, when you're doing your spiritual work, that the more work you put into it, the more good, the more positivity, the more energy you put into it, the better your outcomes will be. It gives you a place to focus. It really shows whether it be your God, your ancestors, or whoever it is that you're conveying to that you are really doing this with intention, that you're going forward and you are pushing your power into manifesting. And this is my manifestation of my new year and my altar.
for coming and watching our videos. Remember, like, comment, subscribe.